Trust me, you were made to shine From the skin light I'm in I'm in I'm in I'm in Dedicated to you Make you look so strong Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you, whatever time you're watching this video. I welcome you to this day. It is the evening and I am late to doing this, but I'm here with another story time. Praise his name. Praise him. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? I'm here with another story time. Now this one is equally as annoying. But it just makes you wonder like why? 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 Like why? Why? What do you want? Why? So this is two story times in one video. I mean... Yes, Lord. Woo. Yes, Lord. So, first of all, let me tell you, my neighbor or the neighbor decided, now, I need a goat. So, I'm getting a goat. So, the neighbor got a goat. So, what had happened was, she got a goat. And there's so much noise, because that goat keeps making a lot of noise so disclaimer if you hear a goat it is not me it is not my goat it is the neighbor's goat so this story time happened in town i am not a very big fan of town i just don't like the anxiety that comes with it and like your safety is at risk your money is at risk your phone is at risk your clothes are at risk your hair if you're wearing a weave your accessories your rings are at risk Your rings are at risk. There we go. So I just do, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of town. But if we have to go to town, I'm going. There's it's okay. I'll still go. So this happened. I had to go pick something at a certain building in town. I'm um, next to Mission Center. What's the name of that building? A building in town. I had to go. And pick an item that I had already bought. So I just needed to go and pick it up. Now, the 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 shop that I was going to was, I think, on second floor. Second floor or like, yeah, like on second floor. So I decided since it's just second floor, that's like just four flights of stairs. I'll just use the stairs and not use the lift. Fine. On first floor, there's this like salon or like nail and salon parlor or whatever i don't even know the name of this place so i'm just passing i passed it and i noticed that it's there and i just i know it's there i just don't even know the name so there's this guy there is this you know this is someone some human being is just funny F first of all that's what i've given you the background of loose hair that day i had I had loose hair. I hadn't braided the hair, so it was just loose. I can't even remember what I had done with it. So I just um walked up to the to the stairs. I've gotten past ground floor, security check, everything. I'm now on the first floor. So this guy, he first of all he looks so weird. I've ever just seen someone you're like, oh, okay, maybe it's just the way they are dressed, or maybe just the way they are cutting themselves. They look a bit fishy, and you're like. Okay, I'm going to mind my own business because my security is at risk. Okay, so this guy just looked fishy. And I was like, no, me, I'm just going to mind my own business. Because I'm here to mind my own business. I don't even know what made me decide to use the stairs instead of the lift. But I just remember telling myself, I think I just remember something coming to my head. I'm like, I don't either like go wait for the lift or like just have that awkward waiting for the lift i can just just use the stairs i'll get there faster so if i may use the stairs first floor i'm just at first floor and i'm tired so so 
this guy just looked fishy but i'm like yeah i'm just going to mind my own business so i just walk past him very fast then he like he's like walking fast towards me i'm like uh, can i help you then he just comes in he's like hi um i really like your hair i'm like oh wow okay thank you so much and i walk and i go I go pick my item i come back down when i'm coming back down the stairs see i'm thinking i've been up there for about maybe at most 15 minutes so i'm telling myself this guy he can't be there so he must have gone so i'm coming back down the stairs using the stairs to exit i want to go home guess who i find just down there the same guy and he just looks at me so seriously i'm like oh god did i do something wrong uh okay so i just this time he didn't talk so i just walked very fast and i passed but then that thing just it just left my brain so fast i don't even think i told anyone and if i did i can't remember but that story just was that story was just like okay fine he's kind of weird but this is town anything could happen so fine we just left i just ignored that story then um, the same the same um, building. I needed to get some some other product, just like for from the same company. So I decided, okay, let me do this. Let me. Um, this is like weeks later, if not months later. In my mind, I'm not even remembering there was some weird guy on the first floor. So I get to this place and I'm like, okay, fine. Again, let me just use the stairs. It will be faster. And it's just second floor. I'll get there very fast. So I walk up. I don't know whether he finds me through the the window or like how do you just how do you explain that someone will be there when you're passing weeks later, if not months? So fine. May I walk up the stairs on first floor? Guess who I find again? Your other friend. So I'm like this guy is a bit funny. So the second time, he walks towards me and I'm like, okay, this guy is a bit creepy because he tried doing this the first time. And I'm like, you can't just say you like my hair from where you are. Why do you have to like walk towards me? So he says walk, walking towards me, I like pass him so fast. Then he's like, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, oh God, no. God, no. I'm like, I just look at him, I'm, what, like, yeah, can I help you? Then he's like, um, I just told you I really like your hair, um, what do you do to eat? I said, nothing, it's just my natural hair, and I walk past. I walk so fast, you guys, so fast up those stairs, I'm like almost running away. I walk up the stairs, I pick the product, this time when I'm coming back down, he's not even there, I think, I don't know what had happened. So I don't know whether he works in that salon or why he was being funny and just being around that area when I'm passing. Fine, this this is the second time I pass and I leave him alone. Now the third time, the third time, they say the third time is a charm. I, mean, I don't know what charm this is. So I walk up the stairs again. I never learn. I just never learn. <laughs> the first time I walked up, there was a scenario. The second time, there was a, and the third time, I'm still doing it the third time. I, at this, come to think of it, I also even have a problem. Because I, I should have taken the lift, honestly. I don't know. I just never learn. It's sad. I don't know. But I never learn, and there's a story time for YouTube, so hey. Anyway, the third time, I'm walking up the stairs. This time, this time, he's just so he's so near the the stair like the staircase i'm like oh this is weird at this point i was contemplating turning and going back down because i'm like okay this guy already looked fishy the first time around so i don't know i don't know what his intentions are so i come and i'm trying to like go the farthest away from him to actually go up the stairs the guy reaches out to touch my hair Nairobi, 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 hmm, Nairobi. <laughs> I just walk so fast past him, and then he's like, No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm like, Oh my god, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? So I stop him, like, Can I help you? 
then he's like wait i really like your hair um can you like come visit us at this salon um what do you do to it we can like just talk about it i'm like no no first of all if you work at that salon that is no way to get a customer absolutely no way like you're just being so creepy that was it's so uncomfortable by the time he's trying to touch my hair at this point i am so scared i'm like god if he tries to reach out one more time I will either scream or I'll just like, I don't know, throw a fist. Because I was like, that is so, that is so uncomfortable. Why would you try touching my hair? I've heard that my hair is nice and I'm grateful and thank you. But why are you trying? And you know he's been there. The first time, just tell me how possible it is to be passing somewhere and the same guy is just there stalking. Or, I don't know. Does that building have a window somewhere that you can see the streets? And you can see those people who are coming. Because someone needs to explain to me how possible that is. It was so creepy. So, so creepy. I can't even. I, I can't even. Anyway, so I haven't gone to that building for a while. So I haven't encountered that again. Thank God. But that is just. I, I just found that so, so weird. Now, another story time. Wait, these story times are making me thirsty. I need to drink water. Are you guys seeing the disaster that is my nails? I this has I I don't think my nails have been this bad in a while. I need help. I this quarantine. Mm -mm. I drink water for those who might think i am just being weird i drink water with this cup that has a lid and a straw because i don't want a drop on anything like my laptop or unnecessary places that water should not be that's why we drink with a straw take it from me take it from me working from home you don't want to spill things on your machines or anything like that anyway so another story time happened i had just left Me, I've remembered. I have just remembered how rude this person was. Yeah? And it just gets, it just boils you up. Very... Mm. I had just left the salon and I was going, uh, I cannot remember. <laughs> I cannot remember where I was going. <laughs> When I was going somewhere and I was jabbing, I was using, um, what is the opposite of private? Public. I was using public means, uh, like mats and stuff to go wherever I was going. So I remember I was entering, uh, um, Anganya. I don't know what to call Anganyas in English. For those educated, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a pimped matatu. Now that I don't know what Nganya really is in English, and Google is not telling us, it's just a, a matter too that is like really pimped. So I was entering this Nganya because they go faster, and I needed to go where I was going faster. Mind you, I've just left the salon, so I don't even know. I don't even think I styled my hair. I just left the salon, and then it was just straight, like fully straight to wherever it was reaching just straight kabisa with nothing done so me i'm in a hurry going to wherever i was going i was entering the nganya then this um what what are they called this one's who jazza the matter i'm looking for the english words but it's a stupid guy okay what are they called i don't know there's no english word for them even in shame what are they called These people who just help Jaza the Matatu, just tell me somewhere down in the comments what they're called. Anyway, so this guy comes and intentionally I was going to enter that Matatu. 
but this guy comes and he's trying to force me to enter the matatu i'm like okay fine i'm coming but i remember i was with someone i can't remember who so we were walking towards the matatu and as i'm trying to like bypass the many people that obviously are at a, like at a stage area or like where the matatus are i'm trying to walk past the same same makanga who was like please enter this matatu but in their sharing language please enter this matatu i'm like he's being so close to me and like he's just me and my safety i am just i don't know i I don't know. So he comes and he touches my hair. Like he just runs. Okay. See, this is the hair. And it's like straight. So he comes and does this to my hair. I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. What is wrong with you? So I'm like, please don't touch my hair. And he just gets so annoyed. Because in my mind, I'm like, why are you touching my hair? What is the hair entering the matter to? Is the hair the one entering the matter to? Am I not the owner of the hair? Is the hair not mine? I, I'm, I'm just so he gets so annoyed. I remember, and he starts throwing like curse words at me and like just telling me, Unajifanya nini nini. I'm like, it's my hair, and you're touching my hair. I don't, I don't understand. To me, it was uncomfortable, and I don't think at any one point. It should be made to feel uncomfortable for someone to feel like they should not have the right to make you feel uncomfortable that to me is a no if you feel uncomfortable about something and you're like hey no i feel uncomfortable when you do this when and then i really wish that he was the actual makanga to that car or to that nganya because he was not he's just those guys who usually like help to jaza the matter to so he's just making me so uncomfortable and he's shouting and so like the other makangas are like what's going on and he's like oh dear man you find any nini i take you kushikwa i'm like yes sir sitaki kushikwa sitaki kushikwa but they don't touch me don't even don't even in fact in fact in fact don't smell me don't even don't even look at me don't because i'm just minding my own business but you have the right to come and touch my hair and make it make yourself convinced that it is okay and i should not have the right to say anything you know i think in his mind he was like okay i should touch her hair and she should not say anything she should not like react she should just walk by oh oh you are messing with the wrong person I went, I like, I went home. I'm like, don't touch my hair. I've said, don't touch my hair, and I mean, don't touch my hair. It's just simple. So if you if you get angry, sir, get angry, but that's fine. Me just don't touch my hair. Simple. I just don't want you to touch my hair. Honestly, if someone tells you, boy child or even girl child, if someone tells you, hey, that makes me uncomfortable. Hey don't do that hey don't stop behaving but nairobi nairobi hmm? nairobi Ooh. anyway this, yani, i'm just just even remembering these stories makes me just wonder why sometimes i'm like thank god that i can stay in the house and sometimes not leave so it's it's hectic but i'm like why you're avoiding some characters out there <sighs> I'm just like... so i hope you guys have an amazing um quarantine session how is this time for quarantine taking you guys like what what are we up to nowadays it's just how long has it been i just know it's been over a month or over two months over a month i don't know how is this quarantine thing taking you me it's not taking me the best when it comes to things like my nails my eyebrows are about to join over here so i'm supposed to i'm about to have like eyebrows 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 like there'll be no space over here it'll just be eyebrows and then over here eyebrows and then over here eyebrows they're about to join at this point i'm like quarantine is going to make us monkeys so be it quarantine is going to make us look like cavemen 
so be it i'm just over it anyway um i hope you guys are doing good and i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves yeah the lighting is shifting I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and keeping safe and um, yeah I hope you guys are doing what you can to be seen um, and just to keep yourself alive I think at this point we're just surviving and keeping safe so I love you guys so much please be safe and please enjoy um, what you have now if you're in quarantine, enjoy it. Try and make the best of it when you can. Because uh, it will be over and we're like, oh, that season ended. And we're like, thank God we got past that season. So I love you. Oh, it's this thing that's reflecting. Like, it's reflecting so much light because it's white. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to end this video here. I love you guys so, so much. And I appreciate your support and i appreciate your presence and i appreciate i appreciate you if no one appreciates you i well my surgery appreciate you god bless you guys i love you love you so so much please 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 let's be kind to one another let us love one another we need love in this world and let us be intentional be intentional with those you love and be intentional with those that are close to you and family and your friends. I love you guys so much. So bye.